Today, we started the new semiconductor design center of Renaissance. The key point about this center is, first time in our country, three nanometer chips, which are most advanced, will be designed here in India end to end. From seven nanometer to five nanometer, and now India just cracked the three nanometer chip design. And it's official, Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has unveiled India's first ever three nanometer semiconductor design centers in Noida and Bengaluru, marking a historic moment for India's electronics and semiconductor ecosystem. This isn't just about smaller chips, it's about a greater ambition. So let's break it down. We now have two new state-of-the-art facilities that were inaugurated by Renaissance Electronics India and supported by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So these centers are India's first to design at the 3 nanometer scale. They're located in Noida and Bengaluru and they're a part of the broader semiconductor strategy that covers design, fabrication, testing, chemicals, and equipment supply. Designing at 3 nanometer is truly next generation. India has done 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer before, but this is a new frontier, said Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. So what's the big deal with 3 nanometer? Look, it simply gets you higher performance, low power consumptions, and better efficiency in smartphones, medical devices, defense servers, and AI accelerators. Simply put, this means faster iPhones, smarter cars, better data centers, and made in India brains behind them. The three nanometer centers are a part of the holistic national semiconductor strategy, but India is not just focusing on chip fabs, but also design, packaging, testing, academic upskilling, supply chains, which goes from gases, chemicals, and equipment. We're not just building factories, we're investing in long-term talent and infrastructure, said the minister. But here's why the story gets smarter. So over 250 academic institutions have now received access to advanced EDA tools, and a new semiconductor learning kit was launched to give hands-on PCB plus hardware training. Besides, India's engineering colleges will now produce product-ready chip designers and over 70 startups are being funded via the design-linked initiative schemes. So this isn't just talent generation, this is an IP ecosystem in the making. Renaissance Electronics, which is Japan's embedded systems giant, is expanding R&D operations in Noida, Bengaluru, and Hyderabad. It is also partnering with CDAC under the Chips to Startup program, and it is supporting Indian startups with boards, LTM software, and PCB training while also collaborating with over 250 colleges and 15 plus startups. India is a strategic cornerstone for our global operations, said the CEO, and their goal is to generate 10% of the global revenue from India by 2030. And their belief is that India's engineering talent is simply world-class. From Apple assembling iPhones in India, to DRDO building robotic soldiers, and India's chip demand is exploding across smartphones, electric vehicles, Internet of Things, laptops, medical and defense gear, AI compute, industrial control systems, and more, because every product requires silicon. And for India to be truly Atmanirbhar, chip designs must happen here. So with 3 nanometer in Noida and Bengaluru, that future is here. And India just crossed a new threshold. Not as a consumer of chips, but as a designer of the most advanced ones yet. And look, end of the day, this isn't just about 3 nanometers. It's about three things that India now has, which is talent, infrastructure, and global trust. The 3 nanometer era in India has officially begun, and the world's most powerful chips now have Indian fingerprints to them. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe, and always remember, think AI, think AIM.